welcome. Let's imagine you have a great product. Well, it's not an apple, but still, it's a great product. So you have this great product and uh, you want to sell it to customers. So the biggest question you have is how many should we order? And the first obvious answer is, yeah, maybe a million, billion, because the more we order, the more we can sell and the more money we can make. But what if I tell you that the product is perishable? It lasts for just one day. And after that, it spoils. It's not useful. It's not sellable. Huh. Well, so the obvious solution to this would be that we cannot order a million products, but we order as many as the daily number of customers. Hmm. Well, life is not so simple. What if I now tell you that we don't know exactly how many customers we have each day? Now, this makes the problem a bit difficult. So, uh, we have two choices. Choice one, stock too little. And when we have very little stock, our customers tend to get angry because they don't get the goods that they want. Option two is stock a lot. But when we stock a lot, the chance is that we might have excess products which we have no use of and we would need to scrap. And so we are precisely at the stage at where we began. How many to order? And precisely to solve these kind of problems, we have the news vendor model. That's what we are going to talk about. Now the news vendor knows the average demand of his newspapers. They're perishable, right? So if I, today's newspapers cannot be sold tomorrow. So he knows the average demand. He knows the variability, some measure, the standard deviation or something, some measure of variability. He knows the cost of purchase of the newspapers, the selling price and the salvage or the scrap value. That's the money that he can recover or from cost of unsold newspapers. So from this data, our news vendor calculates the underage cost or the cost from not having enough and the cost overage cost or the cost of having too much, cost of having excess. Why don't we do a small example? So if the purchase price is $20, selling price is $30 and scrap value is $5. What do you think would be the cost of not having enough? So cost of not having enough, look at the formula, look at what the terms P and C stand for. And what do you think is the cost of having excess? Again, look at the formula C minus S, look at what C stands for, S stands for, Stop the video if you want, think a bit, and I think you got it right. So since the newspaper or the product is sold at $30 and I buy it for $20, if I have, if I'm, if I, the cost of not having enough, I lose $10 for every customer that I don't satisfy. But since I buy it for $20 and I can scrap it only for $5, so 20 minus 5, um, I end up losing $15 for every unsold newspaper. All right, so knowing this, we should go to the next video where he will build up the intuition of how many newspapers should this news vendor order. Thank you for listening. See you in the next video.